Dan, you want me to time? Yeah, what I, what I would like, Kevin, is that uh, with one minute left, if you could just raise your, since I will have a timer there, one minute, and then a half a minute, excuse me, Kevin, a half a minute, and then 10 seconds. One minute, half a minute, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Can everybody else remember all that? <laughs> You're on the clock. <laughs> no, no, not necessarily. All right. Whenever you're ready. Imagine that you are a real estate agent here in Atlanta, and you sell $1 million luxury homes. The realtor, the, uh, the owner of this house, this $3 million house in Buckhead, calls you and says, why should I have you list my home for sale? And remember, everyone in this room is a real estate agent. You're competing with everyone in this room. So what is your marketing plan for this house going to be? What is your visual storytelling tool to show off this $3 million house? Slideshow. Is, is, it, a, is it a slideshow of images like this set to music and calling it a virtual tour? Okay, let us show you our solution available today for visual storytelling. 360 degree view of this house. <clears throat> you can walk through the house. And you can take a look at the floor plan for this house and begin your walk through anywhere within that floor plan of that home. And we can take a look at the castle view of this house. It's a $3 million house, 10,000 square feet, three levels. So this really gives you some sense of the house and decide where you want to begin your tour. If you add this kind of visual to your MLS listing, you have a competitive edge against everyone in this room because everyone today is using a slideshow of traditional still images. So when you get back to this homeowner, you're going to have a competitive edge Put in your MLL listing in order to win this house and other house listings. And second, this is the way every one of the realtors in this space today should be viewing homes to pre-tour for your clients. 24-7, your convenience, see this house, know who, whom to bring. Great for out-of-town buyers. And the bonus is that you're going to pick up additional seller listings. And that's because everyone who's in the market for a $3 million home, they have a house to sell too. So when they see this, looking at this house, they're going to call you and say, hey, I want that for our listing. Can you help me with that? So just think about that as a consumer. You're in the market to buy a house. Do you want to look at a slideshow? Or do you want to look at an immersive walk around experience of that house? I'm Dan Smith Brad, I'm founder, CEO, and chief photographer for We Get Around. We Get Around is Georgia's only photography service company that offers this walk around solution. Think of it as Google Street View on steroids. Now, John, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves. We'll go back to the to uh, the beach house. So imagine this beach house, a million dollar beach house in Seaside, Florida. We shot this house in less than half a day, and the next day, that house was ready to share like this. In the last two months that our solution has even been possible, we've created almost 200,000 square feet of walkarounds like this of luxury real estate and commercial real estate. Commercial real estate like uh, Junior Achievement of Georgia, uh, Kennesaw State University, and the Leonard, a, an apartment building downtown Atlanta. For commercial real estate agents, our solution is crazy exciting. And if you're an architect that does renovation, our solution is equally as exciting because we enable the architect to take the file. We shoot today, we get the images, our camera also captures data. That means you now have the data file to immediately begin renovation. On Wednesday, we launch our solution, or we get around network of photographers like us on three continents. And that will enable companies to have one stop for multi-markets. If you have friends 
that are residential real estate agents or commercial real estate agents, agents and brokers, and you want to give them an unfair advantage in business, then please tell them about the we get around, walk around solution that you're experiencing today. You've been a great audience. Thank you. I'm Dan Smith Brad, and we get around. Very nice. Well done, Dan. Okay. Uh, different kind of pitch, because this is a product pitch. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the, the, the floor for, for questions and comments on Dan's pitch. Yes, sir. Great presentation. Where I got a little lost was when you made the transition from the single family home, you started talking about the architectural renovation type things. The format of the screen should change right when you change into that format. You should see architectural renovations on the screen of the movie showing what that building was. Because I kind of got disconnected from that point. You're talking one thing, I'm seeing something totally different. But other than that, it's really good. Thank you. Very good. Cool. So my question is kind of, uh, why don't real estate use a video instead of this? So what is the differentiation like? If the video can have the all around the house with the different angles, why do they need this product? Uh, the, the difference is that to enable you to be in control of walking through the house with this immersive experience to see every view that you want to take in. So a video, for example, you don't have control as you walk through the kitchen, the video is taking you on a specific path. That may be sufficient for you, but if you really are uh, interested in buying this house, you may want to stand behind the sink in the kitchen and see what the sight lines are. And what are you looking at over the sink and, and, and out the, the living room window? So we think having the autonomous control over the walk around is crazy exciting as a differential. I think that's a game changer. I like that. Uh, opposed to the video, I can, uh, you were controlling it, right? Right. And so you, so at, so I'm assuming I would be where you're sitting if yes. I was viewing this house, and I could stop it, start it. <clears throat> can you keep it flowing? <clears throat> you, can you do both? Can you mean like an autopilot, like let it play? Yeah. Like you said, hey, here's a certain path. I want, I want to go from the front door to the kitchen, and it just. Does that automatically? So the question is, is autopilot when traveling, walking through, walking around the house available? Uh, coming soon. What, what, why would you, why would you want just, that? I just had another option. Uh, you know, I'm a commercial real estate broker, by the way. So, you know, I, you know, as a commercial, I may want to go from the front parking lot to the elevator to see how far that is from my parking space. You know, in an office building, you negotiate your parking spaces as close to the elevator as you can sometimes. What solutions are you using now for commercial real estate to show off the space? Nothing like I'm old school. <laughs> are you taking people to see a space yeah. where they immediately walk in and go, this is not for me? Yeah. Yeah. Are you wasting your time? You usually schedule uh, two or three, four sites, and you just visually, you know, you just take it there. Schedule time. So this would be awesome. It would be fantastic. You're on, you're, you're on the uh, rep, uh, represent the tenant side. Yeah. So this, would this be the kind of solution that you would suggest to the, um, the people that own the building to have this kind of experience? Oh, I would use this. I, I could sit down in my office with a client. So I hear the four properties. Yeah, so I, need, I, need the, I need the property shot. So we need to capture the space yeah. Yeah. that you want to go visit. Yeah, you, you, that speaks to the landlord uh, and their reps. I'm on the tennis side, but I love product. Thank you. And just a follow-up remark on that. Is it because you wanted to highlight certain parts maybe of the building? Is that why you want to have that auto walkthrough? You don't want them to miss certain areas? Not necessarily. I just, I just look at it as an additional feature that somebody may say, hey, you know, where, where's my parking space? I'll take you from your parking space to the to your to the elevator. You know. Oh, Dan, can you right that separate? I mean, like have camps or something that says product and space. Yes, but not yet. Our, our solution that I'm showing you today is commercially available. You can go out and schedule a shoot for tomorrow and we'll be ready the next day. So, uh, by the way, my thanks to John Acosta, fellow Atlanta Tech Village member. Asked him about his uh, 
uh, giving away business, uh, exchanging business cards without exchanging business cards. <laughs> I, 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 I missed that in my presentation. I'm watching the time, but I do plan to circle back to the question and answer to do that. Yeah. Dan, can this gentleman make comments on different spaces in here? Is there any way that you're able to communicate? Because if I can't get on the phone with however many people need to look at this building, can we make comments or anything directly associated to locations inside as you view? Yeah. Uh, forgive me for repeating the questions because I'm trying to practice repeating the question as well. So the question is, can you annotate the space and annotate the space for your client? And the answer is yes. With third-party software, you can do exactly that. In addition, you can drop points and do measurement. Is that you or him? Is it the owner? Of that? <clears throat> you, uh, uh, um, you using a free third-party utility. With our content, you can annotate the space as well as drop points to do measurement. So just two observations. I think you did an outstanding job. I would say that um, the audience, I believe, is going to create you know your cost structure for this. Um, so you might want to at least hint at that how, how you're going to price this thing. I mean, I'm sure you don't want to get into any detail, but I was creating is this ten thousand dollars a house or whatever. It might come up in conversation. So the question is, how much does it cost? For a typical luxury home, it's under $1,000. You might want to mention that after the pitch. I, I know I'm going to get that question. I didn't want to use up my time in my okay. presentation. That's the only the audience will be crazy. I suspect that's the first yeah, This question. is more of a product is. pitch. That's more of an investor. Uh, not necessarily. Because if I'm, if I'm a potential consumer, I, I want to know. Is it for square foot? Yeah. Is it products get consumed? Yeah. As a customer for a product. It's right? going to be asked as a question. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. going to use my question That's time right. for yeah. the, the question is how much does it cost? For an average luxury size home, it's less than a thousand bucks. That's great. The other, the other piece that I, I was creating as an observer was um, you, you had mentioned at two points in the presentation area where data would be great to reinforce your claim, which is you know, you'll get additional customers and or it'll increase conversion, what have you. Um, you probably haven't done any testing yet. Um, you might mention that that testing is forthcoming because I think as a, as a consumer, I'm sitting here going, yeah, prove it. What data do you have? And I, I was waiting for the next sentence that didn't come to say, and we've substantiated that claim by testing this, and here, here's the data to back it up. So the question is, do we have any data to back up our claims about getting more listings, <laughs> selling the house faster at a bigger price, and generating more qualified leads for sellers and buyers. Good. I seek the innovators in, in luxury commercial real estate, in luxury real estate and commercial real estate, that know that that's absolutely going to happen. And if they want to be innovative, lead, and uh, they want to be, you can, you can either lead or be competed against. And today, if you're among the early adopters of our technology, then you have an opportunity to differentiate your business, and you're going to find out the answers to those questions. Okay. But if you don't like this, well, no, you don't no, like no. A slightly more humble approach might be. Um, <laughs> well, no, that's good. I, I appreciate it. it. I, 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 it's great. Yeah. Look at yeah. confidence. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A slightly more humble approach might be: we're, we're looking now to work with thought leaders in the in this area, in this vertical, to go out there and substantiate these claims. Thank you. It's much better. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would I would take issue with uh, the answer you started to give, and a little bit with the answer that you gave. Uh, that in this crowd, they're going to call BS on that in a heartbeat. Because uh, the answer to your to the, 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 well, because the actual answer to your question is no. We don't have any numbers. So I would say that no. What do you think? Would you rather no? I mean, ask the audience. Would you rather buy see a property like this before you actually spend time to go there? You tell me. Let, let me ask because you, you don't have any numbers. Yeah, so. let, me, let me ask a different way if, yep. if you want to come in. Yeah, I just want to say, I mean, uh, kind of as far as here's the real estate, commercial real estate agent, and he can say that he showed this to a number of people, mm -hmm. and the reaction five out of five said they'll use this product. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's. Yeah, I mean, if you have some, some uh, uh, individual examples. Um, but I think I think everybody agrees here that the, the product, when you see it, you walk through it visually, it, it kind of speaks for itself. Um, no, there are no numbers out there yet because it's brand new. 
Brandon, just say it. Okay. Can't be sure. let, let me try a different tack. Let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, so are there, any, are there any statistics to back up what I've said? No. Now that said, there were two regional luxury real estate brands on the West Coast that have already launched this solution. And that's going to happen here in Atlanta, where one brand is going to be first. And is that going to be your brokerage, or is that going to be your competitor? Because if you're leading, you've got an advantage. Otherwise, you're competing and playing catching up. Does that help at all? No. It too does. Long. Keep it short. Yeah. Way too long. And the, the, the reason I said that about the first answer you gave, you were, you, I could see the, the hard drive spinning and you were calculating this big thought leader type answer and it was just like, don't even go there. Okay. Because it, it wasn't going to fly. So the, the, just, the, the question is, do we have statistics to back this up? And the answer is no. That said, what do you think? Does, does this kind of imagery going to matter for luxury real estate or commercial real estate? Still too long. What? Something like that, but yeah, keep it short sure. and and, uh, and witty. Well, this will get the list thing to me. I mean, if, if yeah. you did that, I, I would have oh, yeah. some, there's something out there called the wild proposal, and before the wild proposal, and when you, before you go in, if I was trying to get that person to list with me, I would go into that house and I would do something like this. You know, and then spend my time, maybe a half hour, an hour, just to say, this is what your house will begin to look like. We'll do it much better. But that would get the that would get the listing, and that's what. First of all, you're trying to get the listing. Yep. Yeah. The second thing you're trying to do is is sell it. Yeah. From the uh, what I'm trying to focus on is three things. First, to get the, the the benefit to the agent that wants the listing on this three million dollar right. house is to have this competitive advantage mm -hmm. that no one else is using. But show it. Second uh, is uh, to enable to increase the number of potential buyers by enabling all the real estate agents in this room to be able to tour this space, uh, to pre-tour it to their clients. And, and third, it, it just seems natural that all the potential buyers that come look at this virtual tour of the home for this $3 million home. They have a house to sell too. It seems likely that they would want to have this solution when they go to sell their home. So you're going to get leads for, for selling. So one of the things that's really important, important is, it still, is it still too long? Oh, it's okay. Too long. But it's three points. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're well beyond your, you only get five minutes to Q&A. And, <laughs> and we, we've tried I have one comment I want to make. For me, it's always about tangible business outcome. And the second thing you mentioned is to increase the number of potential buyers that I have this thing. When we bought a property in North Georgia, and guess what? probably five out of 10 buyers are from Florida, and they want to look at it online. So for me, from a business outcome, two things come to mind. Number one, your product increases uh, the quality of the pipeline, the leads. And number two, you probably increase the sales, uh, decrease the sales cycle. And those two would be very, very tangible and attractive going to the bottom line. So I think the other pitch in that. Would, would you prefer instead of the uh, enables all the real estate agents in this room to to, to pre-tour for their clients to to say this expands the market for out-of-town buyers that are likely for three million dollar house for relocation. It expands the yeah. market and can lead to a shorter sales cycle. Yes, I'm sorry, you had a question. I uh, just real quick. What's really important to commercial brokers and residential as well is that days on market number. And I think that your product would reduce that, which allows several things. You're, you have a happy <coughs> seller, you have uh, uh, real estate brokers and agents that can be more productive because they can do more deals. So that, if you can incorporate that, you know, somehow you feel yeah. it would reduce the days on market. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any statistics on it, but I do, you know, and this is not my answer, and I'm not quite sure what that answer would, would be. You might be forming that into a question. It just see, doesn't it seem intuitive that this solution would help increase the number of potential buyers, potentially increase the amount of offers, and at the same time, reduce the number of hire takers that are walking through a property that are not even potential buyers. No, saving I mean, you time and saving your clients time. Yeah, My, with that. But um, you gotta remember one more thing. Yeah. But you gotta remember who you're selling to. So you're, if you can show that this would reduce the days on market and increase the productivity of the agents, 
That's how you're going to make a hot dog. Yeah. I see. It doesn't matter about it's taking the client time, time at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the client, yeah, the client wants to move into a new house. house. So that, that, yeah, there's but increase the productivity of the agent, that broker, and that's in your settings. <coughs> yes. More, more efficient and effective. Mike? I was going to say, good job. Uh, in terms of thinking about the audience on, on Monday, I thought two things. One thing would be to point out the pain, since it's not going to be a lot of real estate brokers in the audience, you might want to frame the uh, presentation of the personal experience that people have had of having a house that's been on the market and not selling. It's really painful. No one wants to be there. So that could be a good way to kind of get people interested, just think of the pain of having this house on the market that's not selling. So for, for, uh, uh, so if I ask that question a little, a little differently, imagine if you had had this solution when you were buying or selling your most recent home or, uh, or condo. Yeah, I, I think kind of getting people to feel some kind of pain, and that's one way to do it. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about the audience, and maybe this is too much of a buzzword, but just this idea of virtual reality. I don't know how the, if, if you've got 400 tech people there, you know, the, I hate kind of resorting to buzzwords, but the virtual reality buzzword could catch people's attention. So the question about virtual reality, uh, if you're particularly interested in this topic, please write down uh, Google, uh, please write down Oculus VR in your business card, and I'm happy to get back to you about how we work with Oculus. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing I was going to say, um, is there a different tablet experience? So if you're holding the tablet, it, I mean, how does that, if I recall, the tablet is even more impressive than seeing it on the screen. Is that correct? Or so, so, uh, so let me ask, answer the question a little bit differently. So, uh, does this work on tablets? Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, if you'd like to see it, go to my website. Yeah, uh, uh, pull out your iPhone, iPad, and take a look at this on your on your uh, on your iOS device. Okay. R runs on Android as well. I'm still having to answer the question away. I guess I should. Mike, are you comparing the presently no, so presently on on an iPad, for example, you use your finger to move. Okay. I, I don't think for this audience I want to go in the direction right. of coming soon on your iPad. Yeah, the ability to, to circle around like this and then to be able to walk through the space. Just tell them it looks great on the iPad. Looks great on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, Kevin, I need to just, what do you need to do? You get a stand You shorten Dan's pitch from an hour and a half just, down to five just, minutes. <laughs> do, do what my wife does, just like uh, under the table, kick me. And and I'll, 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 I'll stand in the back and go, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, do, uh, I'll just do it. I Dan, there's an amazing improvement from last week. Absolutely okay. amazing. You nailed it. You nailed it. You nailed it. Kevin. Well done. Yes. Well done. Any other questions for Dan? Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.